Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome to something a bit new here in Total War Warhammer 2. We are obviously playing a going to be playing a modded playthrough today, and we are starting as with the Kislev Reborn mod. Needs mixes, faction unlockers, and a few others. Link down below in the comments and the description. If I forget, tell me off. But yeah, we'll be jumping in here um, as Katriana herself. I could start as Boris, but obviously we'll be picking him up later. I think the uh, uh, untamed, extra untainted and cloud shelter replenishment are very good. We also get extra recruitment and rank for certain units and cheap units. And we start with, well, some cavalry and some creme guard. And we're obviously going to be playing on hard, hard, hard. So, uh, the ice realms of the ice cream, uh, ice cream, ice queen. <laughs> Uh, well-rounded roster, specifically specialising in swift cavalry, but poorly armoured infantry, nimble and nimble arch cavalry archers. Uh, military divided into three traditions, Gospodars, the heavy cavalry, Ungols, the horse archers, and Kislevites representing the combined religious military units and acquire resilience from winning battles against forces of darkness. Resilience can be spent on technology and upgrading your units. Okay. So let's jump in here. From the icy fastness of her citadel, of her city of Kislev, the, sit the ice queen Katrina, Katrin, rules her land with an aloof majesty. She is the latest in a long line of Tsarinas, descended from the ancient Khan queens of the Gospodars. Gospodars. The powerful tribal group that migrated west centuries ago and became the dominant people of what was has grown into the great nation that is Kislev. Obviously, guys, I've played a previous Kislev playthrough, but uh, this was before a lot of changes. This is a much more well-rounded mod. Sorry about that. Let's make sure my phone is not binging away. Um, because the other thing, major change, is they can now edit units. So uh, modders didn't used to be able to actually change the models of units and things. It's something they can do now, as you probably noted from some of my more recent mods. Um, so a lot of extra and new units in here. But I think all that's left to do is say Kislev! <laughs> How to play. They acquire resilience from winning battles. The resilience splits into the following levels. 50 to 1, so there we go. Um, so you do slowly lose resilience. Yes, for forces of darkness, who counts as forces of darkness? Um, and falling below 101 has negative effects. Okay, we are instantly at war though with. Yeah. These are dark times. Not sure I'm a fan of that being straight at war with them. Am I powerful enough to take them straight on? That is the me? question. Uh, we've got the uh, the upgrade mechanic, same as most things. So, Ice Witch's Blessing gives us less speed, but gives our attacks Frostbite. Uh, Wings of the Griffin gives us more charge bonus or extra weapon damage. Fear and Rampage, that actually sounds quite good. Lady of Athel and the Griffin Legion and the Winged Lancers there. And obviously, we've got the Ice Queen herself, who this time it's... She does get the ice horse later on, or magic sleigh. Oh, yes, please. And obviously, she has her own special brand of magic. Um, At your service. I always try and fight the first battle. If it's... Yeah, no, we should win that. I love this. The UI they've done for her is gorgeous. Once we've done this battle, we will actually have a look at the city and the buildings as well. As some of you are aware, my first episodes are generally not my full 30 minutes, but for those who are new to my channel watching, my normal episodes are 30 minutes. My first episodes tend to be dropped down a little bit to about 20, um, just because I, I find it works better with YouTube. <laughs> Definitely taking a gamble on that. Not that I think we've got much in the way of magic to start with. Standing by. So, Standing quite by. decent archers, actually. Oh, there. Not Open bad in melee, either. Ready for war. So, my Krem guard Ready for can sit war. there. You guys can actually sit in front to start with. 
Um, pistol infantry. Yeah, these are armor pierced and pistol infantry. Really good range. Ooh, I like them. And obviously the Ice Queen herself can sit just behind these guys. They're just in front of these guys because the way things are going to move. She's not bad in melee, actually, so she can sit right in the front of that front line. Now I can go out. Let's have a look at these guys as they move. They're lovely painted horses there. Such a well-rounded, good-looking faction. Oh, there they are. Yep, yeah, start picking on those ball boys. Run away! <laughs> Moving now. Why did they turn into them? Charge. Try and slam into the flanks here a bit. Well, we'll try and head down. I'm not quite picked where I'm going to hit yet. Slam into those archers. These guys are obviously slightly slow. No, they don't seem to be. Hit them. Uh, shield of cold. There we go. I'm going to get that on them just in case. All my cav can push her and slam straight into them. Come on! There we go. And my Krem guard have managed to capture them there. Perfect. That just gives her missile resistance. So, Katrina herself can go up against him. Charge first. There we go. Well, all the archers are joining in. And look at those guys' halberds. They are just awesome looking. I want to try and make sure his unit, this army, is utterly killed. Ah, oh, no. Eh, that'll do. There we go. Nice, decisive victory first. Got to take all our units for a spin. Did quite well. We lost eight units, so, um, yeah. Um, now, I'm not the best cavalry general. I will admit that, guys. So, advice is more than welcome as time goes on, but I think that went well. Um, obviously I suspect my bear cavalry later on will be a bit more, um, frontline fighty. Be able to sit there and just take them. Which is what we want. Hmm. So I can remember the dead. Gives us resilience. 
Oh, that's good. Uh, it does lower our range, but I don't need to be moving fast. So, yes, I want the resilience. Remember the dead. Seeking unseen path. There we go, which ups my resilience, which is good, because we are currently getting negatives to it. How can I assist you? Um, you know what? I want to put no root marcher. <laughs> Lady of the Glade, We're obviously going service. to chase them down. Remember the Take dead. Azray, my journey begins. Now I am going to start. Pushing up her magic a little bit because I think sorting her magic is a good idea. And my income is now positive. Hmm. So let's have a look at my tech trees here. So sorry, my tree. Um there, there, there. So we've got various military things, obviously the usual. We've got one which is free. So let's go ourselves up to stress Strelsty. Strelsty. I I'm probably mispronouncing that horribly, and a boyer. Uh, so obviously there are missile infantry, our uh, missile cavalry, who are again reasonably good in melee defence. So actually, uh, close quarters infantry. I like the fact that the uh, ranged seems to be able to hold itself. Uh, obviously, a cavalry tree and a circle of bear, uh, which gives us wing, wing cavalry. Interesting. That's not bear cavalry. The bear cavalry is over here. The sons of Urson. Um, and the obviously the cavalry masters there, so cool, quite an interesting tree. And uh, cannons and light cannons and war wagons, ah, ice witches, various bits and pieces. And obviously, the creme guard from our top building here in Mokla Palace in Kislev. Um, we only hold these two regions. The rest of Kislav is split up into various regions who I don't know. Can I confederate? Who I can maybe a realms of the ice cream, ice cream, <laughs> ice queen. Um, I'm not going to confederate them just. Well, look at non-aggression pacting them just yet. I want to deal with these guys first. These are dark times. Let's make sure we throw out some extra troops. And. Hmm. So, Durazina are oh, shielded. The Vanguard, fast cavalry, winged lancers are. Oh. They're both very fast. They're basically much the muchness to be fair. They're both light cavalry. These guys are slightly better defense. These guys are slightly more my style. Um, hmm. First thing, let's level that up. I don't want to go down this tree here, so we're going to go down the cavalry tree because obviously I want to get the non cavalry buildings in the other settlements. Um, so, this one in other settlements, the infantry building, because that I can get elsewhere. That works well for me. Oh, wow, interesting tech tree. So, Gospodar is going to be my more infantry. Yeah. Uh, Ungol. I think is the cat was the cavalry. I'm not sure. It, it's different units. So hang on, let's have a look at the buildings. So yeah, Gospodar are my archers. Don't know. Ungol are the horse archers. Okay. There we go. So that tells me, and Kislevite is everything else. So. Magic. There we go. Obviously, foreign affairs, realms of the ice cream, growth and public order straight away. That is a huge one. Now, the thing to remember is some of this costs resilience. And 50 resilience is a hell of a lot at this point. So I don't necessarily want to be doing that. Uh, though I have got the extra buffs there. But I am 
believe I'm going to lose 5 resilience when I hit end turn. Because it says minus 5 resilience. Remember guys as well, this is a mod. This is all made by fans, not not official. So certain things may or may not work, pro work as intended. So don't have a go if stuff doesn't quite work as we think. Um, and if you ever have a mod where there's issues, let the... Um, let the modders know in a nice way. No mercy. Let's move on. Here we go. I see bad guys. Ooh. Love the artwork. Can I offer assistance? <laughs> Proud daughter of Athel Lauren. Wind of Ice, a breath spell, magic, moderate magical damage, or Midwinter's Kiss. That's good. That's lovely. The gift of winter. Whenever I'm casting. Ooh. Everybody gets 11% physical resistance. I'm not casting that much. I could give her an ice horse. I'm not doing that just at the moment. Hmm. Wind of Ice. I think I'm gonna go grab. Obviously, I suspect I'm about to be attacked. Lady of the Glade, at your service. Ooh, these are explodey bomb infantry. Interesting. Very powerful. So let's try and grab a couple of them to start with. These are dark times. Obviously, I could level some of these guys up to give them a bit more defense. Oh god, it costs resilience to do that. I am not doing that then. Okay. Hmm. Could do upping the public. No, that'll fix itself after a turn, won't turn or two, won't it? I think for now, keeping the public order there is probably the best idea for me. I'm a little concerned by this, if I'm honest. I think I may have bitten off more than I can chew with Azag Az Az there. So, you got my attention. Oh, wish me luck! He may not come at me because it's not guaranteed. Yeah, he's pulling back to red eye. So that's actually good. I can I can cope with that. Um, that gives me time to build up. I'm kind of probably going to leave as I would like to get red eye for the gold mine. But at the same time, what do you need? I don't want to commit suicide on Azag. Ooh. Legendary Lord. What do I need to actually recruit him? Uh, you need to, by owning the province of Northern Orbost. Oh, I gotta own all of this to get hold of Boris then. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Proud daughter of Athel Lauren. Ooh, the winged lancers take two turns. I do have more HP and more armor, but no, for now I'm gonna grab some more of these guys. Some more cheapy calf. I would probably piece out of these guys if I get the option, though we'll probably sneak forwards and see when if we can get an opportunity to attack Red Eye Mountain, we will do it. Um so long as we can do it safely. Other than that, I may well get pulled into fighting elsewhere soon. Anyway. Um But that's where we're gonna leave it for today, guys. So I said a bit of a shorter first episode. Uh, first episodes always are. Other than that, guys, as always, thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed this and you're new to my channel, please do pop a sub subscription if you want to see more of this. And obviously like the video if you have enjoyed it. Comments are more than welcome. In fact, I really encourage them, guys, because they really do help uh, the 
they help the channel get seen. And if you want any units named or anything, chuck that down in the comments. Then shout at me next episode when I forget to do it. Probably be pre-recorded next episode, so that might be why I forget to do it, guys. Um, as always, though, massive thank you to everybody for watching. And a massive, massive thank you to all of my Patreons. You really do help support the channel, help everything I make. There is a link to that down below in the description as well as well or you can hit join here on youtube it does the same thing but through youtube anyway thank you very much for watching guys and i do hope you have enjoyed this cheers all